For now we still see that button was clicked zero times and that means that now when our application was just rendered, counter will be set to zero. That's what we see here. And now in the onClick handler function, instead of incrementing counter like that, we need to call set counter function. And as argument to it, pass new value for the counter variable. And that's why here we could simply pass expression counter plus one. We take counter variable and increment its value by one. And this value will be set as new value of the counter variable. That's how new state works. Now let's try to test our application and let's click on the button click me. And you know what? Now I see changes here in this text. Button was clicked four times at the moment. And after each click on the button, I see component was re-rendered. And this text comes from this line of code. And it means that any time when counter variable here changes, React re-renders large text component that is dependent on that variable. And now user interface is fully synchronized with state of our application. Because counter now is part of the state and state is dynamic. It changes when user performs some actions like we do now here. We are clicking on the button. That's what is state. And that's how you could synchronize user interface with state using useStateReact hook. You just need to call useState function that is exported from the React and pass to it initial value of particular variable, in our case counter variable. And it will return actually array of two elements and second element is function that you could call if you want to set new value of specific variable, in our case counter variable. That is state in React and that's how you could create different state variables. If you want, you could call useState multiple times and define other variables, like text, set text, and so on, if you want to do so. That's React state and that's how you could change React state. And basically now, if you want, you could use this counter variable in different components. For instance, we could reuse a large text component here. Let's copy, for example, this line and uh, paste it here. And let's modify text uh, here and let's make it you clicked counter times like that. And now I'll see two instances of the large text component and the number here is the same. And each time when I click the button, I see that both components, this one and this one, are re-rendered because counter changes. Great. Now let me make some adjustments here in this code. Let me remove this line and let's remove those empty lines. Also, let me rename this text to button text like that. And let's rename it here as well, button text. And that's it for our very simple React application.